Welcome everybody. Thanks for watching on Facebook, on Instagram, live. Uh, today we're pleased to have the Washboard Union with us today. How are you doing guys? Good. Awesome, awesome. So we're, we're going to start with a song. Everyone likes live music, right? They're going to play um, the first single from their upcoming album, What We're Made Of. It's called Shine. And uh, don't let me stop you boys. Take it away. One, two, three, four. Never going to give up. There's no holding us down, yeah we got this, yeah it's our time to shine, oh, 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 Show them what we got Never gonna give up There's no holding us down Yeah, we got this Ain't no stopping us now Got me dancing Like the whole world is mine Yeah, it's our time to shine There's no holding us down, yeah we got this Ain't no stopping us now, got me dancing Like the whole world is mine Right here, right now, it's my day in the sun So here we are, our time has come Every little moment this is where we start Gonna stand up and show them what we got Never gonna give up There's no holding us down Yeah, we got this Ain't no stopping us now Got me dancing Like the whole world is mine Yeah, it's our time to shine That, that was that was fantastic, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank so that was Shine. That was the first single, the new album. Um, the new album's called What We're Made Of. That's it. And it drops tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. The big launch tomorrow. Get up early. Get up early. Yeah, get up early. Get it. And uh, and 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 that's that's fantastic. So there's a, a second single already out for the new album. It's uh, it's called What We're Made Of as well. An act title. That's right. Mm -hmm. And there's a video for that out. Um, I, I watched it. Can, can you tell me a bit about it? Like, what was the, the concept behind it? Because I noticed some, some, some themes in there, some, some messages you wanted, were, looked like you wanted to convey. What was Aaron the story behind the video? That's yeah. his, uh, his idea. Yeah, well, you know, it, it's, um, this album, as we were putting it together, we're like, you know, what songs are going to be on this album? What, what, you know, we had a lot of songs. We had 32 songs, to, or 35 songs 35 to, songs. to uh, choose from mm -hmm. this album. Um, this song seemed to stand out. It seemed like it was a, a culmination of all 
the people and the stories that we sort of met and experienced on the way in the last couple of years of playing live you know, on the road together. Uh, what we're made of video came out of that concept that's like, it's not necessarily these big, huge you know, celebrations like birthdays or weddings. You know, weddings, graduations, births, deaths, this kind of thing that make us, although those define us, mm -hmm. it's also these small little wins uh, along the way. Like, <laughs> like being here with you right now, this is a memory that will come up from years from now. Um, and be like, oh, you know, the smell in the room, the, the, the heat, the, the smell of the brick, you know, like these little moments, these little people we meet along the way that make us who we are. That's ultimately we're a culmination of, of, of the people in our lives and the people we meet along the way. Well, that, that's great. It's a, makes but a lot of sense. But it's a fun party song, so. <laughs> yeah, and a fun party song. And, and that's probably the nicest thing uh, anyone's ever said about, about being here. So we really appreciate that. We really appreciate that. So, um, so that, that, that's a lot of fun. I noticed there's a lot of live performance clips in there as well. And, um, yeah. and, and, and if you guys have a, a reputation for a, a great live show. And I think we could see why from the, the little acoustic performance <laughs> here. And that was a lot of fun. You, you sound you know, great together. It's almost like you've grown up playing music together. <laughs> great segue. <laughs> Story has it. Story has it, though, man. Um, yeah, well, we did grow up together. Aaron and I, um, as Aaron says, we were born at a very young age. Um, <laughs> but we, uh, we met when we were 13 because our parents started dating each other. My dad started dating Aaron's mom. That's a little awkward. Scandalous. Can be. Scandalous. Until yeah. we had and realized that we were both music fanatics and both loved um, the, the, the art of songwriting and always wanted to be songwriters. Wrote our first song together when we were 13. Mm -hmm. And have sort of always been together and then you know, my dad listened to such old country music that we were kind of exposed to all that. We, we toured in the same RV we camped in as kids um, when we started out, and, and it had two tapes in it. And one of them was ours and one was his, and, and he had Willie Nelson's Red-Headed Stranger. <laughs> and we had Appetite for Destruction from Guns N' Roses, and both of them were screwed <laughs> to the wall after the cassette player gave up. So it was well played. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. So, so where did you find David? Side of the road. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Uh, no, we met David when we moved to Vancouver, and, and we all lived in this kind of... We, for no reason should anyone have rented us a, a mansion in Vancouver, but we mm -hmm. had this old rundown mansion that a whole bunch of musicians lived in. We used to tuck away in the basement, and there was always a washboard on the wall. And we all loved, you know, Marty Robbins and Buck Owens and all these old country artists and bluegrass, too. And then we started singing together and realized that we could write songs together and, and you know... Story. Stories. Stories. Harmonies, yeah. harmonies and all that kind of stuff. Roots, instruments. Yeah. You know, the mm -hmm. fact that we could do a concert with just, you know, these acoustic instruments and... Go anywhere. a nice break to what we were doing before, right? So... Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great. And at what point, was there a, like, one defining moment when you realized, you know, that, that this is going to be your career? That it wasn't just, you know, music wasn't just for fun. It wasn't just, <coughs> just, just a hobby, you know, it wasn't a, or a side job. It was, you know, what you were going to do. Um, with your life to play music and, and you know make people dance and party and enjoy themselves. Well, it's funny because to Chris's point, I mean we've been doing this so long that this is part of our life. Mm -hmm. like, this would never leave. Um, we kind of joke to say, okay, if this all ends tomorrow, what would you do? Well, we're all best friends. So we phone each other up and see what you're doing and we get together <laughs> and play some music. So right. it's just it's just been such a constant in our lives that mm -hmm. you couldn't imagine not doing it. And so, is there one defining moment? I don't know if there is one defining moment. Probably when we realize people will give you free beer and yeah. play music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is a perk, isn't it? <laughs> but you know, there's also, uh, yeah. uh, I think more or less recently, too, I mean, with the, with the release of our new album, and, and we just got off the road playing with Old Dominion before, mm -hmm. um, uh, back in, uh, in February there. Great cast. And um, I'll tell you, we, we would show up at these, these arenas and everyone do this stuff and stuff. You don't know how this is going to go. Um, and as we start playing our songs, people would be really singing those songs, and not just singing, but screaming those words, and, and, and screaming the woes, and not just a few people, but many people, mm -hmm. and not just one song, most of the songs, you know, if not all of them. And um, for me, that's sort of a moment that it's like, wow, this is, this is actually connecting in a bigger scale than than you know our our best friends and families and their closest friends or you know just a few people on, on, on facebook world or whatever 
um, it's really turned into something that that has a, a has a voice that speaks to people that that's kind of greater than than us. Like it's grown exponentially. That uh, we don't know where the, that's coming from now, and so it's taken on a life of its own, mm -hmm. which I think really. Uh, you know, you, you can wish for that and hope for that, but it, that actually has to happen organically. You can't force that, you know, with all the promotions and marketing and stuff that you yeah. do. But you got to have something that people want, some product, well, and it looks, yeah. sounds like people are, are enjoying it. And so. then once you see that, you know that it's the right it, thing. It feels like it's, that. It's got to be a great feeling to, to be able to move people like that. Yeah. I would never know. I just, just imagined <laughs> that it would be. Well, yeah. So, yeah, that's you great. You can't make people like or love things. Uh -huh. right? They either yeah. have to do it or don't. And so yeah. we're really fortunate that we're, we're connecting to people. And mm -hmm. We love that. The first, time, uh, the first time we were at a big concert and a whole bunch of people started singing back to us, Chris was singing the song, and he was so overwhelmed he actually stopped singing just to look at them doing it. So I couldn't believe they knew the words. Yeah. <laughs> that's a strange that's, feeling. And yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Amazing. You know, to Aaron's point, the old Dominion tour was a real uh, turning point for us as a band because they knew the whole show, mm -hmm. like not just the songs that are on the radio, but um, the all cuts, the other songs yeah. too, which is a phenomenal feeling as a band when you've written a song in some dirty kitchen in Tennessee and then all of a sudden people have invested people the time to learn it. Yeah. And, you, and you remember you as a music fan, like I knew every word of my favorite mm -hmm. bands yeah. because they mattered to me. And so that is the most incredible feeling when that comes back to you. Uh, sounds amazing. <laughs> sounds amazing. So you guys have been busy. You mentioned the tour with Old Dominion. Um, got the new album dropping tomorrow. That's right. And uh, what, what's going on this summer? Or we the, got a busy, spring? busy summer. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're pretty much nonstop now till October, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and we'll so, keep writing so in that. Fe festivals, tours? Yeah, all festivals yeah. this yeah. summer. So we're playing festivals from literally the tip of Atlantic Canada to the Yukon wow. and everywhere in between. Um, and some festivals we've never played before, like Boots and Hearts, we're going to be playing with Thomas Rhett, and yep. a whole bunch of others uh, that's going to have us through essentially every province in Canada, all, right, like David said, right till October, so it's going to be exciting. So that sounds fantastic. So, uh, uh, you know, would you mind playing one more song for us before you go? Yeah, Not, yeah, yeah sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. What, what, what do you have for us this time? How about what we're made of? Play the title track off our album, What We're Made Of. Yeah. What We're From Made the Of. album, What We're Made Of. Thanks, Adam. One, two, three, four. Whoa, whoa. Some days we're breaking our back, some days we're lifting our glass, some days we're stealing a kiss from the girl that you can't get enough of. Some nights we're shooting at the stars' headlights, just dancing in the dark, some nights we go a little too far, cause that's just who we are. That's what we're made of, feeling alright. Dead strong hands and long as brown eyes. Soaking up the big sky, small town summertime nights. We're a country song, Rocky Mountain High. Loving how we're living and we're doing it right. Gotta feel good flowing through our blood. That's what we're made of. Small town summertime nights. We're a country song, Rocky Mountain High. Loving how we're living and we're doing it right. Gotta feel good flowing through our blood. That's what we're made of.
Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate Thank your you, sir. Time. Thanks, Thanks, Adam. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming in. That was fantastic. Uh, everybody, what we're made of, available everywhere you consume new music tomorrow. New Music Friday. Check That's it right. out. That's right. Thanks, guys. Thank Have a good Thank summer. You.